Okay, so we are gonna do something a little different today. I accepted a contract, maybe a little bit foolishly, that said go get a Class E huge asteroid uh, that is over 850 tons or so and uh, push it all the way out of the solar system. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, all of this is very, very sped up, anywhere between 16 and 64 times. I left in all of my quick loads and whatnot, just so you can see how many uh, failed attempts this took. Keep in mind, these are going to be just kind of clips. Uh, obviously, this was a 30 or a 40 hour mission. I have maybe four hours of video compressed into this seven minute clip. So we're approaching the asteroid now, um, and we've got our mining vessel here. It's got lots of solar panels, as you can see, because they're really good at radiating heat, and I want to be able to fire my engines for a long time. I apologize for the lack of sound. Um, after I speed it up to 16 times or so, it decides that it doesn't want to play the sound anymore. And that's probably for the best, because it sounds like a garbled mess. So we're going to have some nice audio backing track you'll be hearing. Unfortunately, it's not the cool Kerbal noises. I did not bring RCS because I didn't. Um, it makes it a lot easier to dock, but considering I don't have to hit any specific point on the asteroid, I just have to be pointed in the right direction, I didn't really think it was worth the wait. Uh, I didn't know how much fuel I was going to need to eject this asteroid, um, so I figured I might as well be as conservative as possible. I'm going to go ahead and grab on with the claw here. It doesn't quite work out the first time. I kind of bounce around, and there we go. We've got it. Um, extend the solar panels, and let's start pushing. Now, um, yeah, we're going to push and you're gonna see why I have to redesign this ship it's not gonna work it starts rotating I'm not that far off of my uh, center of thrust through the center of mass uh, thru thrust offset I should say is pretty close to zero here but it induces a spin anyways it's sh this just is not the best craft to do it But you get to see my system as it gets all off kilter, and then I kind of have to yank it back using time acceleration and then do quick saves and quick loads to kill all the momentum. It is the only way to keep it going in a straight line. Well, for a little while anyway. Yeah, so I gave up on that, and we're launching a new mining vessel. There you go. You can see it has a lot more engines, and in a second, you'll see even more. Boom. More solar panels. Lots and lots of solar panels on this thing. Uh, I wanted it to be able to do a completely unattended burn, so I needed lots of electricity to keep uh, the drills and converters running even when the engines weren't. So I'm taking a very um, inefficient path to get to the asteroid, uh, but I have plenty of fuel on the rocket and there will be plenty of fuel at the asteroid when I get there. coming into range here and look at that there's the asteroid uh, keep in mind this is all at 64 times up until this point and pretty soon I think I drop it down here to 16 I should really start putting the numbers in the corner to make it easy but uh, yeah so I'm gonna be switching back and forth between the different vessels here undocking and redocking I'm at this point debating whether or not I want both rockets to go uh, onto the asteroid I'm not sure how rockets that are going to wobble about 
will affect the center of gravity, or not, center of mass. So, eh, still not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and dock this one, and we'll worry about the other one in a second. Alright, I uh, kind of scooted around there for a second and didn't like the way that one sat. My um, thrust offset was not quite right, so I figure I'll find a little bit of a flatter area and get something closer to zero. Yeah, I was going to reconnect that one, but then last second turned it away and decided not to. Might as well just let it fall away and do its thing. So I left it going overnight and super long unattended burns. This clip right here is 45 minutes. It's going to be compressed down to 30 or 40 seconds. But just keep an eye on the meters per second and how those are changing. It's not accelerating very fast. It looks like it is because I'm running massive time acceleration in post-production. But if you will look at the clock in the upper left hand corner, you can see how fast actual time is ticking. Yeah, and notice uh, over this 45 minute long clip, the Apple apps didn't change much at all. So here we go. We are just below escape velocity and doing my last push here. You'll notice I'm missing Kerbal Engineer because it turns out Kerbal Engineer crashes the game when you escape Kerbal. Uh, or Kerbal. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there we go. We are on an escape trajectory that is one completed contract, one huge asteroid ejected from the system. That's how you do it. It's a huge pain and it takes hours and hours and hours. I don't know if it was worth it, but it was um, an experiment. So there you go. If you guys want to watch more uh, Kerbal Space Program related videos, go ahead and check out my channel. You can like and subscribe all good stuff. Uh, I have plenty of other stuff on there. I'm going through the old weekly challenges and uh, just generally fooling around in this awesome game. So I'm just going to fool around with the solar panels for another minute and that's going to be the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time.